This is what planning for my business used to look like, but this is what it looks like today. This one tab, which I call the bird's eye, is one spot where I can see every event, time off request, holiday, project, hiring initiative, YouTube video, marketing campaign, everything I need to know to know what is happening in my business is visible from this one tab. Whether you're in SmartSuite or Notion or Monday or Airtable or Coda or ClickUp, whatever you're using, Odds are you can steal this exact same technique with a few modifications and make it work for your team as well, because truly it is a game changer. It includes three categories of information, our YouTube and content publishing, our major projects, and our events database. And the way we've created this view for anyone who's in ClickUp is by going to the everything level and creating a timeline view with the following filters. The combined effect is that ClickUp is looking at all of our stuff and filtering it down to just what meets this criteria and then showing it on a timeline view. But don't let the three categories that ClickUp shows you fool you here. There are actually a lot of different sources of information happening behind the scenes. Right here at the bottom, you can actually see what I consider to be the most important one, which is the priorities that we have each set individually in terms of our time off. This is my first stop when planning because it allows me to see, all right, what is exactly going to be happening in this case on January 20th in the whole company? I can just scroll up and down and see all of the things that are happening. The second category of information that I like to think of are promises, things that we have committed to do or to fulfill in some way. So up at the very top, we have our content production kind of pipeline area. So this is a little meta, but this task that you see here with the script and all this becomes a YouTube video through this process, and I keep tabs on it through this bird's eye view. Now, the very last section of this overall view is what I call our growth projects overview. Now, to explain this last section, I kind of need to back up for a second and explain a little bit about Process Driven's approach, our philosophy. We believe that capacity, the way you spend your time and energy really only goes in three different categories. You spend it on fixing things, uh, maintaining things, or improving and preventing problems in the future. Our growth projects at Process Driven are us proactively thinking, how can we make better? How can we devise a project to either create something new, fix something that could be improved, or just generally evolve an area of the business?